Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be building an RO system because we are almost in full swing on maple syrup production. So a normal reverse osmosis system would give you 100% purified drinking water. We're gonna design this to work in reverse. So I'll be filtering the sap that we collect from our maple trees, but keeping the dirty part. I want the concentrate. Uh, and by doing that, it will reduce our boil time by about 50%. This video is brought to you by Allen Manufacturing. There'll be more on them later. I'm gonna lay out a piece of wood here to mount um, all of our filtration, hoses, gauges, and stuff like that too. Um, and then, uh, then we'll start the process of placing everything and I'll go over all the parts and pieces that I have in this for you. Allen Manufacturing has been building and distributing the highest quality water treatment equipment for consumers and commercial applications under the Waterfall Systems brand since 1988. Their brand has been trusted by plumbers, water treatment professionals, and installers to provide the most reliable water conditioning equipment in the industry. Be sure to ask for Waterfall Systems brand on all of your water treatment needs, and please pay a visit to Allen Manufacturing on Mannheim Pike in Lancaster. We thank them for their support of Blackwell Adventures Channel. Okay, so now that we got the board cut, kind of what I want, we're going to start the layout here. This is a little uh, Aquatech 8800 pump, so you do need a booster pump to get enough pressure to push it through the RO system. Okay, so we're going to be running about 100 pounds PSI. So right now we're just mounting this little pump as the first step in what we need to fit on this board. Uh, I've got this from Amazon. You can expect to pay about a hundred dollars just for the pump but if I look at how many hours I had worth of cooking last year and what I'm hoping this cuts it back to this year it'll be money well spent we have a whole house filter um, this is a bow chart um, you can expect to pay with the bracket the filter it comes with a wrench an extra o-ring you'd probably be about 30 bucks for something like this but this is what's going to filter all the leaves, debris, um, different things like that that could be in your your staging barrel, bucket, tub, whatever it is you're using to store your sap in in between runs. So this is important. We'll put this on the board here somewhere. And this is the RO filter, okay? This is the holy grail. Water comes in through the top. It runs down through a filter that's inside here. The filter uh, holes are that small that it will only allow pure water molecules to fit through it. Anything else is discarded. So your pure water comes out through the center. Your junk water, or in our case our permeate, what we actually want, is gonna discharge out the side. We'll mount that on here like this. So pump, there'll be a gauge here so we can read pressure. Filter housing through the RO filter. Okay, here's what we've been working on today. This is our maple syrup reverse osmosis system. So like I said, we have the Aquatech 8800 pump purchased on Amazon. This is a 3 8 inch OD line that quick connects into the pump and we'll also quick connect on the other side and, uh, and then the additional 3 8 line will drop into a 55 gallon drum that we'll be storing our sap in. So as this pump comes through, goes through a standard 5 micron filter housing. A lot of you people probably have one of these in your basement. This is just to catch large debris, dirt, leaves, whatever might have made its way into our sap collection. As it flows through there, I have a gauge on this side so I can keep the pressure running right about 100 PSI. And that gauge is controlled by a needle valve over here. So obviously from the tank, from storage, through the pump, through this, this is just a pressure gauge. We come over here, we drop down into this 
Allen Manufacturing Supply, 400 gallon per minute, I'm sorry, 400 gallon per day. Um, reverse osmosis filter. So this will be where the membrane sits. As it comes out here, this is the pure water. This will be pure enough to drink out of the tree. Um, and then this is our concentrate or our permeate or the waste in every other case. But here, I want all the minerals and all the sugar molecules and everything like that. So that will then come up through this valve where I control the pressure, as I said. And hopefully what's coming out of this line will be about a 50% reduction in water and I'll have less boil time to get to the final product of maple syrup. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. The next time you see us, we'll be in Potter County, tapping trees and getting ready to run maple syrup for 2024. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate all the new viewers. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one.